This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Principles course. I'm on Lesson 8 of Unit 3, which is Intro to Programming. Lesson 8, Creating Functions with Parameters, Part 6. Defining, defining functions with multiple parameters. Now it's your turn to define a function that accepts multiple parameters. Just like in the previous previous example, make sure you separate, yep, critical, your parameters with commas, separate them with commas, and give them descriptive and meaningful names. And that's important in programming because as your programs get more complex, someone might not realize exactly what that parameter is going to do in that function. So if it's changing the length of an object, call it length. Pretty straightforward, kind of like variables. We want meaningful variable names. Oh, here we are. Dra uh, drag out the function block and name your function draw triangle. All right, so let's go to functions. Oh, and notice that we already have function calls here and they have parameters 150 and 5. All right, so function block, drag out, and you want to have one with, well, parameters. So it's going to be this one. All right, and I'm going to name it draw triangle. Define draw a triangle to have two parameters, and that means have two things here, right? Because they have two numbers they're passing to it. Within the parameters, making sure to give them descriptive and meaningful names. Well, what do they do? The example below, oh, uses size and width. Okay, I'm going to copy them. Size, comma, width. And that's a parameter. Make sure you have that comma. Okay. Then write the code inside the function draw triangle size and width that will make it work as described. Ah, ah, so we have to draw a triangle, I think. <laughs> All right, so let's go over here to a turtle, make it work size and So size should be the length of the triangle, right? I don't know why I put 100. Size is going to be the length of the triangle. And then width is going to be the pen width, just like we did in the last one. Okay. And if size is the length, we're going to want to do that. And then we're going to want to turn left. 90 is not going to work. I think it was 120. Okay, but to do all three sides, and instead of creating another function, I'll just focus on this. We're going to need to do size again. We're going to need to do turn left again. Let's test. Ah. Oh, this one will be partially off screen because they did it at draw triangle. Yeah, that must be the size. Okay. I wonder why they're having that off screen. Because they moved to 300x. Our function is working, though. It's odd that they have it appear off screen. Can I? Oh, nope. That's just how it is. Okay. I'm going to change up their y variable here. No. What's doing this? 400y is crazy. Did they intend for me to turn right? Oh, I wonder. I'm going to flip all these to a turn right. Oh, no, I should probably turn back at the... Let's try this. There we go. All right. Needed that final turn left. And there we are. And so how this is working is, again, it's a function. So everything inside of it only is going to be run when we ask the computer to run it. This is our function call here, draw triangle. It's called draw triangle. We're asking the computer to run draw triangle. What is size? 150 this time. What is width? 5. And so then the computer starts. Pen down. We're going to set the width. Oh, what's width? Oh, it's 5 this time. Okay, now how much do I move forward? Well, size, what size? 150 this time. Okay, turn left, 120. Got it. 
Size. What's size? Oh, it's 150. Got it. Zoop. And we go through all of this code. Once it hits the bottom, we drop below right here. And then the computer runs this. So we move to 300x, 400y with our turtle. And then we start drawing this triangle or running draw a triangle. The computer looks for that function right here. Says size. Okay, 200. Width, one, uh, width 10. All right. Drops down, pin down, ba -ba -da -ba, and runs all the way through. This is tricky. So if you don't get this, you need to go back and restart the video and listen to me explain it. It's going to get worse, all right? So make sure you understand it. But it's really awesome, the stuff we're learning. I can't tell you how much we're going to be able to do with it. So even if you think this is difficult now, you're going to build some awesome stuff. All right, let's keep going.